Yo, what's going on YouTube fam? I'm Sue, but feel free to call me Pat. And in this video, I want to talk about training mode, what it is, where to find it, and why I think it is super important to your game. If you've watched any of my other gacha game content for other games out there, you know that I place a very strong emphasis on the basics. You cannot make good decisions, in my opinion, in a game if you don't have a full understanding, a full grasp on these basics. Unlike most other gacha games, Wuthering Waves is more action-oriented than the traditional fare. A game like Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, can be played as an auto-battler, and obviously Epic 7, the primary game I cover here on this channel, yeah, that's a turn-based game, so the stuff that you learn in that game doesn't really apply here. This game is more like a game I referenced in my previous Wuthering Waves video from yesterday, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is a fighting game. And anyone who has ever played a fighting game knows how important training mode is. If you want to win matches in a fighting game, you need to develop muscle memory so that you don't have to think about your combos in an actual match. You just execute them and the setups that you've learned in training mode on the fly. Just understanding your character that you want to play, getting a feel for them, and having a basic attack string down pat when, say, you land a parry against an enemy will massively improve your game and make things so much smoother and, in my opinion, much more fun and flashy to play. So, let's talk about where to find training mode. So, for me, it was first unlocked about an hour into the game. They actually showed me where it was, but in case you didn't get to that part or you don't know where it is, if you hit F2 on your keyboard, if you're playing on PC, it will bring up this menu with your dailies and everything. Down here on the left-hand side, you'll see this little gear, Path of Growth. And in here, you'll find two tabs. Skill training, which is basically tutorials here for the characters that I already have unlocked. And then basic training, which teaches you things like dodges and outro skills. There might be more of these. I'm still very new to the game. You know, it's only day one, right? So we don't know if there's going to be more of these later on. If you've played the beta or you know, just in general, let me know down in the comment section below. But uh, in general, this is where you're going to come to actually learn how to play the characters that you uh, actually want to use. Another way to access this is by hitting C and going to the Resonator menu. And you go over here on the left-hand side, fourth option here, Forte. This is where it describes your character's actual whole kit. This is essentially the basic string here, Resonance skill, Resonance liberation, intro skill, right? And then Forte circuit, which is your passive. So I would still read and familiarize yourself with all of these to get a general gist. And if you come down here in the lower left-hand corner, there's these lines. This is just a basic overview for how this character actually works. Like, this is a cheat sheet of everything. And from here on your character, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's Proceed to Trial. This brings you again to that training mode for the specific Resonator that you want to learn. So for this video, I'm going to use Yang Yang because I think she's the most fun to play for me so far out of everyone I've unlocked. So let's go over some basics for combat, right? That uh, I've learned from just messing around in training mode that I didn't necessarily know at the start. So you're going to come here to Remnant Key, hit F, and start it. And you'll be faced with this uh, enemy here. It's basically like a training dummy, right? And you can see it says here on the left, perform up to four consecutive attacks with your basic attack, which is left click by default, right? Before I even get into the attack string, I see a lot of my friends when I watch them on screen shares or I just watch them streaming in general. They are just like doing this, like walking around, moving the camera like crazy. Lock on to your damn targets, please. To do that, you just hold in the middle mouse button. As far as I know, this can't be rebound. I tried to rebind it on my keyboard because honestly, middle mouse button is kind of a janky position, I feel like, for lock on in a game like this. Uh, Kuro, if you somehow stumble upon this, please, that's a quality of life feature I'm sure myself and a number of other people love to have. So you can lock on by pressing the middle mouse button, and you can obviously hit left control here to kind of like have the ability to walk around. This is so much easier in the heat of battle. From what I understand, there's no way to toggle targets. You just basically have to hold it to let go and then press it again to actually toggle back on the lock on. And as far as I can tell, it locks onto the nearest target. But yeah, get comfortable right away before you do anything else with combat. Get super used to actually using the lock on feature. It will save your life. Back to the actual training here. You can see this is the basic attack string with four attacks. And you get one melody, which is part of her passive, her forte circuit, I believe it's called, on the fourth hit. Now, obviously, you could just mash the button, right? I just go in there. But I just want you to, like, be aware that you can actually 
stagger these hits. Like, it's not just one and go. Like, you don't just mash it. There might be times where it be, might be more beneficial because of recovery frames and based on how much stamina you have. Because when you dodge, you lose stamina, right? You want to make sure that you are deliberately pressing the button, not just mashing it. That's super, super important. So let's go ahead and finish this string. You can see how there's a nice delay between that third and fourth hit. Moving on here, we have uh, our skill here, which you get by pressing E. And you can see it gives us another stack of melody in the bottom center there. That's that one green bar. Now we're going to take a look at the heavy attack, which is hold here. Now, before I even did this tutorial, I thought that this was the extent of the heavy attack for this character. And then I realized that there is a follow-up if I don't have melody. If I have melody, it's a completely different move, which we'll see next. So I had that little like hop there. That's not something I was aware I could do until I actually started practicing this character. So now, as you can see, when I have three melodies, which are the three green separated parts of that bar at the bottom, when I hold it, I get this move instead, which is a jumping attack. It's a launcher, essentially. When you have three melodies in our midair, yeah, yeah. and you press it again, you get that. And you get that nice little bounce, which if you played a fighting game, you know that you could follow up after that. Same thing here. You get that nice bounce when you have three melodies. So it's basically the jump aerial attack is essentially the same as the heavy attack when you're grounded with three melody stacks. And then obviously here is our ultimate, which sucks everybody in. And then again, creates a nice little launcher state. Now, once you finish the tutorial on the character, right, you have the access to this. And again, you'll see these three other guys. You can lock on and kind of like move around with the locking on. But now that I kind of have a basic understanding of how things work from just using the kit, it's time to start actually experimenting and figuring things out. So we have our basic attack string, right? But... You can also do heavy attack by holding, right? So as you notice, this is basic attack one and then I hold it and go into this. So by default, that means that I can probably cancel, since I can cancel the first basic attack string into heavy, I could probably do this with any other attack in the string. So yep, there you go, I can cancel the third one. Yeah. Now, the thing is, you could also cancel your heavy attacks. So, remember that little hop that we talked about? And that will get us our melodies that let us do that. There's one melody from that. Two from that. And then we have three again. So, we go into this. And now we get our little bounce and we can go again. So, you just want to mess around and get an idea of like what your actual like strings are gonna be for this character, right? So for me, I envision it as something like, I start off with this to get one melody, and then I do this to get another one, and then go into that, right? So that's a nice way for me to get to that little juggle that I'm looking for. Again, E, one, two, three, four to get the second one, dash, and then the little hop to get the third, and then I know on my next one I'm gonna have it. That's a quick way for me to build up the three stacks for the character. So now if you come over here to the dodge training mode, you can start to practice the dodging as well. And one of the things that they teach you in this training mode is that if you press and hold the attack button after a dodge, you get an actual fall up like that. And as you can see, for Yang Yang here, it is a launcher, assuming that I have the harmony. So I could go like this, launch, and then I could go immediately into the other character. And then start to actually develop my offense this way. And that's basically it. I kind of really wish there was a more robust training mode so that I could practice with my entire team. I really kind of want to learn the ins and outs, all the different pathways between my characters, their intros and outro skills. But again, I haven't really found that. So this is the best I have to work with. And I know with just this simple setup now, it has definitely helped me have a better understanding and grasp of the combat in this game. Hopefully, this little tip was of some help to you. Subscribe to the channel for more Wuthering Waves content. And if you want to see me play the game live, you can check out my streams over at twitch.tv forward slash I am underscore TSU or just here on my YouTube channel underneath the live tab. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later now.